20% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Hello guys, Tune here. Now a game review. Uh, this time I've whipped out the Super Game Boy, which I bought the other week. And uh, this time we're going to review of Dracula Densetsu 2, or in other words, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. This is the Japanese version, the one I picked up in my pickups video. Um, picked this game for really cheap for what it was. It normally goes second hand for about 20 to 30 quid. And I paid £8.50 for it, plus £3.50 postage. Uh, I also agreed this too as well, which I'll do a review with that as well. But uh, here's the intro. I have to say, it's the first time I've really played the Super Game Boy on the uh, SNES. And I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with it. It works really well, especially for the frame mice. So it does look very nice indeed. And um, they're cool. Game Boy games on the S32 inch television. Can't fall down. But anyway, this game, this game was released in 1991 in Japan, and it was a sequel to the original Game Boy game. Um, I think this came on a, a, a... I think Konami did a Game Boy collection, and I think this game was on that as well. But, as you may know, I love the Castlevania games. Maybe I'll turn this down a bit, actually. I love the Castlevania games, and... Uh, this one is pretty damn good. Uh, I think it's a lot better than the original Game Boy Castlevania game. Uh, this one's a little bit more like... Well, not like a SNES game, I suppose. It's a little bit more like the, the SNES game. In lots of respects. So, let's say, this is not going to be a run-through. This is more of a review. I'm quite impressed with the graphics on this. Especially for a Game Boy game. So you start off, uh, you can select four different destinations. Depends on which one you want to go to. Uh, you beat the four and then you get to go to Dracula's castle. So, let's go to this, uh, the first stage. See, so the graphics are quite similar to the original Castlevania, but they're better. This game is a lot it's faster, even though it's not the most fast paced game in the world. But it's pretty nice and it, it does have some pretty fantastic music. The game by. Um, music chip could really, you know, chuck out some pretty nice tunes at times. It's amazing what they could do with you know, for what was actually in the game Boy. Those birds are a pain in the ass. Uh, what you can do as well, you climb up ladders, you can climb down, but if you press jump and down, he goes down really fast. Which is quite useful in some situations. That's it. That's the nicest power up. You get a fireball at the end of your whip, which is very useful indeed. That teaches me for being greedy. But as you can see, this, this game, you know, it's a pretty nice looking game. Shall I go for that? Yeah, I can really leave that. Plays quite well, it's a little, little bit on the slow side, but you know, it's a game by game, what do you expect? It's got some very nice ideas in the stages, and the stages are quite different to each other as well. The fireball and the end of the whip as well, Andy. It's got some mixed enemies on here as well, there's a bit of variety in the uh, enemy sprites. It's amazing, you know, the Game Boy for what it was, it's amazing what some of these companies actually got out of the Game Boy. It's pretty much, you know, just classic Castlevania. See if we can get through the first level and then I'll, I'll restart it and choose some of the other levels. Ah. Ooh, that's where the down and uh, jump button come in handy. Got time is nice. 
Jeez. Oh, wrong timing. I went down a little bit too far, I couldn't jump off. Genji already. I like the thing with the Super Game Boy, it's about all the different colour screens you can have, you can change all the different sprite colours. Like, um, you can change that if you want, have like a greener screen, but you can just mess around with the colour palette on you. I can't remember whether it's up or down first. So let's try it. Could do with some energy actually. I say you got the classic Castlevania weapons as well. As you can see. Do the cross, which is uh, well, I do the cross. Oh, I didn't want that. Mind you for that moment, though. This game is quite well put together. It's a really nice Castlevania game. When it does look actually pretty nice on the original Game Boy as well. Oh, right. I gotta remember the patterns of this thing though. Damn, I can't remember how you do this one. Not like that. More like it. Ah. Right, I got it. Oh, maybe not. I'd uh, jump a little bit better.
sure if you're in the middle to collect that. That's the question. Right, let's pick another stage up. Uh, Alright, let's go to the one I suggest. The rock castle. Uh, I think this one's got a lot of light and dark levels, which make things a little bit interesting. You see another really nice music track. Quite a different looking level. They will die in to its set. So, you know, it's a nice little bit of variety in the stages. The gameplay is nice, it could be a, a tad faster. If I was going to complain about anything, I'd say maybe a little bit faster gameplay, but the gameplay is pretty solid on you. Pretty nicely done. Them things are a pain in the ass. This game does have some very nice music tracks. This thing's you've got to jump up these spikes. Yeah, I'm not going to go for that. It's got some nice variety of the way the, the levels are. They've got some unique things to about them. In the arse, them things. I don't think they're enemies are in any other Castlevania game. Another one of these spike levels. Ah, that was a really bad jump. Though, at least the restart point's not too bad. Try again. This time, try not to be spiked. Time that rock. I don't know whether there's any um, like health, like the meat bits you find in walls on this. I haven't, I haven't found any as yet to get a bit of health back. Ah, I should have kept the other phone. Make it. Yeah, the thing to make the level to go darker, you've got to like sort of. This level can be interesting when it goes dark. <sighs> Lucky that guy didn't fire them.
cool. Sometimes that uh, level, that bit can be quite difficult. Really low on health though. Don't get crushed by that. Not sure how far I am from the uh, second boss. Not gonna get to the second boss playing like that. I think I'll do beautiful guys, I'll um, reset and show one of the other levels. Got a nice playthrough. Got a password system as well, I forgot to mention that, so you can go back to the levels, which is quite handy. Uh, we went to the cabin, so let's go here. Castle. That was pretty cool by this. You can learn the levels and get really good at them. So you can learn the strategy for each level. I do like the music on this game. It's very cool. Bats can sometimes be a pain, just like in any other Castlevania game. Of course, you've got to jump down to get them things. See, it's nice little strategies to uh, to the levels. Ooh, but anyway, guys, I think we might uh, leave that here because time's getting on. But anyway, what to say? You know, Castlevania Two Belmont Events or Dracula Densetsu Two. If you've, got, if you've got a Game Boy or a, or a Game Boy player or one for the Game Boy player for the GameCube, whatever, definitely, and you like Castlevania games, definitely well worth picking up. It is pretty cool. It's got some very nice music, especially for the um, Game Boy. Definitely worth a punt. But there we go, we'll leave that there. And I'd, um, it's a very nice game, and for the Game Boy game, it's definitely going to be worth an 8 to a 9 out of 10 for a Game Boy game. Pretty nice. So you could even play this on emulator as well. So 8 to a 9 out of 10 roughly, about that. So if you like Castlevania games, go out and pick this up. Anyway guys, we'll uh, leave the review there and I'll see you back on the next review. Bye now.